So in this week's law news, we released some really good stories this week, but I don't know if any of them really top how cute this next story is. So in top cute law stories, here is Organic Trade Association versus United States Department of Agriculture. This is a community supported legal education channel. Find out how you can support our mission at the links in the description below. Before we even get started, a little foundation here. This made the rounds on law Twitter and everybody in the community just thought this was so cute. So I just really had to share it with you. This is a consent motion to reset deadlines by two days. A consent motion means that the parties have agreed, they've talked about it ahead of time, and they're gonna ask the judge to do something that the parties can't do themselves. In this case, they're gonna ask the judge to reset current deadlines by two days. Well, why would they need two days? Plaintiff Organic Trade Association respectfully submits the following unopposed request to reset the present briefing deadlines. So that's important. It's briefing deadlines and not deadlines for a trial or something like that. Briefing just means they're going to be filing papers. As grounds, counsel states, Washington, D.C.'s professional baseball team, the Nationals, known as the Nats, began this baseball season by losing 31 of its first 50 games. Since that time, due in part to the unflagging support of a certain nine-year-old boy closely associated with undersigned counsel, the wheels of justice have turned and the team has rightfully advanced deep into the baseball playoffs. All right, this is already kind of cool and cute. The nine-year-old and counsel wish to continue to stay up late watching baseball and to attend tomorrow's game if it is necessary. Council's attendance at each is required as parental supervision. A respectful request is submitted to reset the plaintiff's date for filing summary judgment. So this is an adversarial action. They're going to file for summary judgment against the United States Department of Agriculture, but they're going to get two more days to do it. So undersigned counsel, who's, I guess, a father, a father and his son can go to a baseball game. That is really, really cute. So the respectful request is submitted to reset the date for filing summary judgment from October 18th to October 21st and to reset defendant's answer and cross motion from November 22nd to November 25th. No other date needs resetting with the consent of the parents and baseball fans at the Department of Justice. This request is unopposed. Respectfully submitted attorney William J. Friedman, Alexandria, Virginia. And I thought that was really cool. And uh, I wanted to share that with you because lawyers really do have hearts and emotions and you don't get to see them very often because that's not considered. It would be distracting from the case if they were to get too, you know, happy, giddy, emotional like I am right now, you know. So instead, you know, you got to put it on the papers and, you, you know, if it's cute because it happens, great, but you don't otherwise make it cute. So, of course, a little follow up. Yes, the judge reset the deadlines and the the undersigned counsel got to see the baseball game with his son. Uh, I actually don't follow baseball. Did anyone know how the Nats did the last two days? So after how many losses? Did he say 31 losses, I think he said? <laughs> 31 of his first 50 games. And now it is on a winning, a somewhat winning streak. Okay, so we've got, okay, wait. So here we've got the Dodgers was 10-9. And now we've got losses uh, in game three and game four. But it looks like they are going on to game, was that game one of the World Series? 22 and in, in, in the other games. Anyway, uh, so yeah, they're still looking at uh, another game on 1022. Nationals now have long wait for World Series. The good news is that the Washington Nationals are in their first World Series. And uh, now they have to wait for their first game which would be October 22nd. It's also good because now the uh, summary judgment motion will begin by October 21st. <laughs> so there you go. That's the follow up there. So what do you think of that? That's pretty cute. That isn't the only court hearing thing that we know uh, has happened that is cute. There's actually been a bunch. They're just hard to search for because uh, the news doesn't necessarily write about it as often as you might think. And you can't exactly go search a legal ser search engine for, you know, cute continuance. It doesn't quite work that way. But here's an article that I found. Um, 
Now, we're not going to show the article, but we can show this picture because even though the picture is of a court document, there is no creativity involved with taking a picture of this court document. So there's actually no protectable copyright that I can see in this court document. But I will give uh, credit to the Allegheny Tribune Live or whatever at triblive.com for the photo. Here is a continuance request. Defense counsel's wife went into labor at approximately 11.15 a.m. today, and defense counsel will be killed by his wife if he does not get to the hospital immediately. Accordingly, this continuance is respectively requested, and the defendant waives uh, PA criminal code 600 with respect to the time between the original date and any new date set by this honorable court. Mark D. Daphner. So hopefully Mark is a, uh, a proud father of a uh, healthy young child. So yeah, uh, these things do happen and attorneys do have hearts and usually when there is a, a good reason, even a personal reason for continuing something, uh, the judge will usually allow it, especially if the parties are agreeing and especially if there's no prejudice. What would prejudice be? Prejudice would be like if someone is sitting in jail and the attorney is asking for continuance so he can go to a baseball game, that's going to be prejudicial. If you give a continuance and the person might be let out of jail, if they were able to go to their hearing or something, well, now they're just sitting in jail. So that's prejudicial. Uh, if there's some other reason why there's damage to a party by granting the continuance, that's usually considered prejudicial. There are some things that are not unfairly prejudicial, like if someone deserves something, if they delayed on their own or you know, unclean hands or something. Um, but most of the time, judges will grant a continuance for really any reasonable reason with good cause and, and no prejudice. And if the parties are agreeing, it's even better. A lot of times, attorneys will grant uh, continuances and delays and things as courtesies because they expect that the same will be visited upon them. And rather than have an opposing counsel that's ready to hold their feet to the fire at every second, maybe you could just conduct the litigation on the merits instead of trying to uh, sort of trick each other or trip each other up or, or find little mistakes to go hold each other to the flames for. Yeah, there you go. The Department of Justice and a plaintiff came together to allow father and son to watch the Washington Nationals make it to the World Series. How cool is that? I think that's pretty cool. Let us know what you think in the comments below. So what do you think of that? It turns out lawyers have hearts. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I am Leonard French, your favorite copyright attorney. Thank you to our channel sponsor for the month of October. That's Joshua Davis with Tanda Pay. Thank you very much for your support. And thank you to our $50 plus supporters, Joe Tyson, Aspernari, John Steele, Gavin Barnard, Evie, Kyle Mudrock, Michael Pierce, Spirit Bear, Jan de Grey, Daniel Perez, Snorri Wisotsky, Black Leaf, and Benjamin Hightoff. And thank you to the $5 plus supporters who are scrolling on the screen in front of me. All of you are on the LED panel behind me, and I'll see you in the videos that drop. Here, have some dog video outro. I love you all. I'm Leonard French, your favorite copyright attorney. Bye.